Hi, in this video we're going to talk about a problem I've been seeing a lot of people having lately for some reason, and that's when they get a Microsoft Word document from someone else, or even sometimes when they create it themselves, they'll start typing, and then they'll start to notice that the spelling and grammar checker isn't working, and they can't figure out why. And even if they copy and paste the text into another document, it still does the same thing. So let's try that out right now. So we can see there's some spelling mistakes here. So if we copy this text, thinking it's going to fix it, Go to a new document. Nope, still wrong there too. And so one way at first people like to get around it is to do something like uh, paste it into Notepad. And then copy and paste it into there. And then you'll see it's working. So it's something with this text formatting that's not showing the spelling and grammar mistakes. So what you could do instead of having going through that problem or process of copying it to a you know, a notepad which essentially clears the formatting, um, you could do a couple things. So the first thing you could do, so in this document, we could highlight it and we will go to the review tab and then language and then set proofing language. And then sometimes this gets checked for some reason or maybe the previous person didn't want the spelling and grammar checker on so they enabled that on their whole document and then sent you part of it or sent you the whole thing. So if we turn that off or uncheck it, I should say, we click OK. And now we have our spelling and grammar mistakes there. And so let's try something else on this one. So if we got it highlighted, let's go back home. And if we go to the clear all formatting, that does the same thing because that clears the formatting, just makes it plain text after that. So there's a couple different ways you could do that. So like I said, either highlight the thing, clear formatting. But the problem with that, if you have stuff that's bold or a special font or whatever, it's going to take all that out and you're going to have to reformat your whole document. So what you might want to do is instead of doing that, go to the uh, review tab and then language and then set proofing language and then make sure this is not checked. And then that'll actually enable the spelling and grammar checker and not affect your formatting. So this is probably your best bet if you have special formatting on this. So either, either one will work, but you're probably better off sticking with this. And that's how you solve that problem. So if you ever see that happen to you, then you'll know a couple ways to get around it. All right. Thanks for watching.